In Corel Draw, in order to fill in a design, um, <coughs> well, there's two different ways. One is to close the design. So if I were to create an object like this, which is just an ellipse, I can fill it in with any color because it is a closed uh, curve. However, if I were to open up this curve, you'll see that it's not filled in anymore because now that is open. If I wanted to, I could still fill that in uh, with an option. So I go to Tools, Options, Document, General, and say Fill Open Curves, and click OK. Now it will fill that in, but it will simulate that by connecting those two open areas with a straight line. If I zoom in here, you'll see that my object actually has an outline and then here where it is simulating it being closed it doesn't have an outline. I typically do not do this for one reason um, I do everything I do gets uh, plotted to um, a rubber stencil and so if I don't have a line there the plotter is not going to be is not going to see it because if I go to wireframe view we'll see that it there is no line there, so the plotter wouldn't cut that line. Visually, it's filling it in, but the plotter wouldn't cut it. So I don't ever use this option because it doesn't do me any good. I suppose it makes things a little easier if you're just doing um, on-screen work, but I never, I never use that. So typically, I would suggest making sure that whatever you do is a closed curve in order to have it fill in. The other thing is there's an option called uh, treat all objects as filled and the hint there says that it allows unfilled objects to be selected by clicking inside the object. What that means is that this object here I could select that by clicking anywhere inside of it and it'll select that even though it's not filled. If I unselect that and I click inside, it doesn't do anything with my clicks. I would have to actually select the outline in order for it to be selected. So filled objects, I can s filled objects are selectable by clicking anywhere on that object because it has a fill and it's able to select that. This works out well if you've got things overlapping I'm going to move this one to the front, shift page up. Okay, so if this is overlapping that, I can still click on it because it's filled and this one isn't. If, however, I had treat all objects as filled, this one is overlapping. It's on top of the stack, so if I click now, it's going to select that one instead of the box that's behind it. So if I wanted to click on the box, I'd have to click somewhere up in here that's not within the bounding box of this circle.